that's it. Give me a couple of trees to finish up making my my beam. So I'll catch you back at the mill. Yeah, summer and winter, I use this. Working on this side, like this. When I lift, it actually turns the log towards the sleigh. There, that wasn't too bad, actually. So... I'm going to tie this thing on. Glad it's a little cloudy today. We're a little bit cooler. Not much, pretty muggy. A couple of straps, so we'll get it tied up. So if you like, uh, Doing things yourself, a little DIY there. And uh, do it in the summer, do it in the winter. A little hard on the back for an old guy like me, but you can put your mind to it and you can get it done.
Yes, you see me. I look like uh, one of those days where if you've watched me, I have to take a visit to this little place here. Yeah. So, <clears throat> I'm not sure that they'll let me video in there, but this guy needs a back treatment. So we'll catch you later. Oh, I'm just finishing up. Put the top plate. And I'll be able to put my hurricane hangers on. I'll be measuring that up right away. So I'll just finish putting this top plate on. It ties everything together. Oh. Cut it yourself. Don't forgive me if you're looking down the wall, looks a little crooked or No, it's not that bad. Actually turned out pretty good. Pretty happy with the mill. nobody to hold the other end I might have to do this twice I'm gonna make sure I get an inch and a half hanging over wondering why I put that board there when I start putting uh, <clears throat> one inch on it's gonna go like that well it's gonna go all the way up it's gonna fit and that way I can screw it to this board this board and at the very top. Oh. Oh. If you're just catching up with me, this is what I do. I putter away, build, tell bullshit stories, go fishing if I get a chance. Just a little bit of my life. So. If you've subscribed, hopefully uh, you enjoy the videos and many more to come. So, let's get back at it. Well, I got 
board's trimmed up here so I can get a header put in here. I'll kick you on and speed you up a little bit. But uh, I'm going to put a header in here. I got the other headers in the door at the other end. A little door. Those two. So, and then uh, over on this side here, I started. I got half of them up. So, you can hear the tractor in the background here just peeled off my acreage that they're clearing. So, they're rick picking, but yeah, so when the rafters go up, the rafters will sit right in there and uh, and just bolt through right here and screw them through call the hurricane clips and uh, don't never expect a hurricane here but go put them up and different ones for the corners but yeah so she's coming along yeah yeah way over there you can see I started Started putting some one by eights on. So I still got a few boards to put on the end here and get this header done. And oh, a couple more days. It's 24 degrees and sunny. It's hot. So I drag my feet. I did have to go. You see the little video? Yes. Had to go to chiropractor. Kind of overdid. Overdid it with the back the other day, uh, more than one day, but so I got in a couple of treatments and uh, so just uh, slow moving, but getting moving. So let's see if we can get at her here. seen me cut all these hopefully you get enough light not too dark here this is the way I put my trusses together you seen me cut all these pieces out together. I would normally use plywood as I think a little better but uh, I had lots of this so
tip it over and we'll put the uh, same layer on the other side. And then we'll put a few screws in it and that's the way I like to do it. So we'll uh, get the rest of them done here. Only got a couple left. As you can see there. Well, I got two here that are uh, one for each end. You only put gussets on one side. And uh, but the rest of them... Uh, I'll build there. Looking pretty good. Looks like they're hanging in fairly straight. So I'm going to just get her done and you'll probably see them going up in a day or two.